Good evening to you all, wherever you are joining us from this evening, you're very welcome to our Lenten prayer night. Um, and today is the, the first day of spring in the meteorology calendar. Um, it's uh, the start of spring, which gives us a little bit of hope tonight. Uh, it's also the feast day of Saint David. So we uh, say hello and we pray especially for any Davids out there uh, this evening. I am joined tonight. My name is Helena Conley. I am a lay member of the Redemptorist Parish Mission Team. And uh, we have the cream of the crop tonight leading our prayer. We have Father Anthony Brannigan, 
uh, who is in Clonard in Belfast. And we have Katie Mulholland. And Katie is a final year student studying youth and community work with practical theology in YouthLink in Belfast. And Katie has been involved uh, with Clonard Youth Ministry as well. So uh, each evening as we gather, um, we have lit a candle. And uh, I just like to light this candle again this evening, uh, just to represent our own prayer, uh, our own individual petitions that each of us carry in our hearts tonight. This prayer and this candle also unites our prayers um, as we come before our God this evening with hope and with expectation. We have a prayer intention this evening and uh, this prayer is for those leaders in government and positions of authority. We need leaders who act justly and walk humbly and we pray tonight that our leaders have the grace and courage to lead from the heart. So we bring together our prayer, we bring together those we speak aloud and those we carry within us as we begin with the hope of springtime in our hearts. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, come to our aid. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, and as now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. You, Lord God, are slow to anger, abounding in love. Turn your ear, O Lord, and give answer. For I am poor and needy. Preserve my life, for I am faithful. Save the servant who trusts in you. You are my God. Have mercy on me, Lord. For I cry to you all the day long. Give joy to your servant, O Lord. For to you I lift up my soul. O Lord, you are good and forgiving. Full of love to all who call. Give heed, O Lord, to my prayer. And attend to the sound of my voice. In the day of distress, I will call, and surely you will reply. Among the gods, there is none like you, O Lord, nor work to compare with yours. All nations shall come to adore you and glorify your name, O Lord, for you are great and do marvelous deeds. You who alone are God. Show me, Lord, your way so that I may walk in your truth. Guide my heart to fear your name. I will praise you, Lord my God, with all my heart and glorify your name forever. For your love to me has been great. You have saved me from the depths of the grave. The proud have risen against me. Ruthless men seek my life. To you they pay no heed. But you, God of mercy and compassion, slow to anger, O Lord, abounding in love and truth, turn and take pity on me. O give your strength to your servant and save your handmaid son. Show me a sign of your favour that my foes may see to their shame, that you console me and give me your help. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, as in, and as now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. You, Lord God, are slow to anger, abounding in love. We now have a short pause for around 10 seconds. We have another short reading, and then we will have another pause for around 20 to 30 seconds. God chose us to possess salvation through our Lord Jesus Christ. 
who died for us in order that we might live together with him, whether we are alive or dead when he comes. Into your hands, Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, Lord, I commend my spirit. You have redeemed us, Lord, God of truth. Into your hands, Lord, I commend my spirit. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, Lord, I commend my spirit. And many of you have been bringing your petitions uh, to the Facebook pages. Um, there are seven Facebook pages this goes out live on and uh, there's been a lot of prayers, a lot of people um, watching. So just to share a few of our prayers uh, this evening. Joanne would like a, a special prayer for her family and for herself. Mary has asked for peace for us all to pray for peace in our world. Elizabeth has asked that we pray for her son as he's making a very important decision. Jeanette asks for prayers for her family. We pray for Bart and Bridie Teg, both who are very ill this evening. Their son, Kieran has asked us to pray for them over these days. And I have a, a personal intention for Amy, a young woman in her 20s from Belfast. She's very ill at the moment and she's in hospital for numerous scans and tests. So we pray for the Lavery family. Elizabeth has asked that we pray for her brother, Johnny, who has cancer. Bernie has asked that we pray for a special intention. And Elizabeth has asked that we pray for her special intention. So for all of those, prayers, uh, the prayers that we carry, the ones we speak aloud, the ones that we just carry with us in our hearts tonight. We just bring them now before our God. And we pray for our special intention uh, for those in government and in positions of authority. Save us, Lord, while we are awake. Protect us while we sleep, that we may keep watch with Christ and rest with him in peace. At last, all-powerful Master, you give leave to your servant to go in peace according to your promise. For my eyes have seen your salvation which you have prepared for all nations, the light to enlighten the Gentiles and give glory to Israel, your people. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, and as now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Save us, Lord, while we are awake. Protect us while we sleep, that we may keep watch with Christ and rest with him in peace. Let us pray. Lord, 
give our bodies restful sleep and let the work we have done today be sown for an eternal harvest through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. So just to thank you for tuning in uh, and for especially to uh, Father Anthony and to Katie for leading us tonight in our prayer and Benedict who is behind the scenes making sure that uh, we're all online on time. So thank you very much Benedict. Uh, and just to remind you that tomorrow night we will have prayer again at 8.30. Uh, so please help us spread the word uh, and please join us then. We will finish uh, this evening with a Marian anthem and tonight it is Salve Regina. So thank you and good night. my name.